Dr. James Dobson for Family Talk. There is in the world of nature a phenomenon known as the adversity principle, which means that difficulties and hard times can actually be more beneficial to plants and animals than continual easy living. As strange as it seems, habitual well-being can be disadvantageous to a species. Think about the big male lion lying in a cage at the zoo. All his needs are met and his hunting skills are useless. His muscles become fat and flabby as he yawns his way through the day. Meanwhile, a lion roaming free on the plains of Africa, stalking and competing for his next meal, remains fit and strong by the challenges and dangers he faces. This principle is seen throughout nature, where the necessity to adapt and struggle, if it doesn't result in death and extinction, tends to produce a tougher species with a better hold on life. Could it also be that adversity is beneficial to human beings as well? Within limits, that seems to be the case, although we complain and squirm when it comes our way. Our first response to trouble is to say, why me, as though some great injustice had befallen us. Could it be that we and our children need the disappointment, the inconvenience, the stresses and the discomfort in our lives? I believe we do, and that character and strength are often the byproducts, not of pleasure, but of pain. Dr. James Dobson for Family Talk.